I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. We are just moments away from what should be an excellent matchup between the Los Angeles Chargers and the San Francisco 49ers. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, the onset of fall weather, Coach, certainly a welcome occurrence for folks in Silicon Valley, and we've got football on a gorgeous day here in Santa Clara as we are situated at Levi's Stadium. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between our visitors and the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. They come in playing reasonably well. Losers the last time out, but winners of four or five before that. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Chargers, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They'll be led out by their quarterback standing at 6-2 from Eastern Illinois. It's Jimmy Garoppolo. And he's got to be feeling pretty good about his individual performance from last week's game. I mean, he did throw four touchdown passes, so he's in sync with his receivers, and they're very confident. Did have one interception. Yeah, one pick. And? They lost. Yeah, so no matter how many touchdowns he threw, if it comes in a loss, he's not going to be satisfied. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Throwing now is Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breida. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. The linebacker, Miles Jack, able to knock that one away. And a quick look now at the offense for the 49ers. And everyone always tells me the fullback is leaving the game, and then I say, hold on a second. What about Kyle Juszczyk? Two-time pro bowler, maybe the best all-around fullback in the game for his ability to block, catch, and occasionally run the football inside. Yeah, that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. And yeah, they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Two 
ball. Hey, tight, tight. We got double tight. Double tight. He's secret. They're going to go play action now with Stick. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag defense. down, however. Defense. Let's see what that's about. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry, and this winds up a gain of four to the 41. With that, let's check out how the Chargers line up on offense. I have to admit, I've rather enjoyed watching Melvin Gordon's improvement as he's developed as an NFL player because it started for me in college. Every year he was in school, he would add something extra to his game. First year, he knew how to run. He wanted to add pass receiving to his game. The next year, he wanted to add pass protection to his game. Did all of that. That turned him into a first-rounder and now a front-line NFL back. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. On third down, it's Stick. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On second down, a run with Breida. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six yard line. He gets him a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. Now Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Now, nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the Chargers will be set up pretty well as they take over in great field position. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out there, a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. A shotgun throw for Stick. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. That's what I'm talking about. Sex all day, baby. 
Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Garoppolo gives to Breda. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. That's Mike McGlinchey, former first-round pick out of Notre Dame with a penalty. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. They go counter with Breda. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. Give him six on the run. It'll be third down now with still a long way to go to get to the first down marker. Garoppolo after the fake give to Breda. Open man is heard. It's complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. A pickup of 27. And they pick up the first down in the process. On first down, here's Breda. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Play action, Garoppolo toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, and it's third down. Now a look at the Chargers starting 11 on defense. It's quite a unit, that's for sure. Number one in the NFL against the pass. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass, here we go, here we go, here we go. but the bottom Ready. half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make oh, yeah. sense. Imagine oh, yeah. if this group ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. First and 10, stick. It's Williams on the catch. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They'll give it to Gordon out of the shotgun. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Stick looking to throw, and it's incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Keep playing hard. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Running out of the gun here, Brita. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. On play action, it's Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Hurd. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A check on the numbers from Goodwin last week. Five catches, 87 yards. And he was able to get open there, but that's not always easy against this bunch defensively. We are deep enough into the season where numbers count. This is number one rated defense in the NFL. He'll have a tough time. Here's Breda. And an alley to run. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Nine on, yards to pick up go. there, and it's a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. They go play action here on first down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick, and they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. The throw over the middle taken in. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a charger first. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A first down run, not going to get them a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. The Chargers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. On the delayed handoff, this is Gordon. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Now Gordon. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Let's go, boys. Let's go. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Now a 10th carry for Melvin Gordon. And he's taken down inside the 30. 18 big yards on that one and a charger first. He finds his way into the secondary again on this drive. They might want to try getting him down a little closer to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, what do they call that? Third level run, first level being the D line, and linebacker second level in the secondary, the third. When you block it up well and you make the secondary do all the tackling, that will wear on a defense. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. 
Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight, unable to find anyone open. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive, and normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, it looked like the offensive line let him down a little bit. Yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff him for a loss. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 16. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. They get that one on the left tackle, Russell Okun. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Following the penalty, here's Gordon. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. They run it here with Gordon. He's able to get six, a nice pickup down to the 21. The Chargers on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and 15. Adams on the draw. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. On now is the kicker, Jason Myers, for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 34. And Myers able to knock it through. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. Now that will go down as a 15-play drive, and it results in three points. So some disappointment? It's funny. We had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator. And what did he tell us? I just want every drive to end in a kick, right? An extra point, a punt, or a field goal. Well, in this case, I think it is a little bit of a disappointment because it did end in a kick, but that type of a drive should end in the end zone. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First down San Francisco, the pickup 14 yards. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. Two yards, good enough for a first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll toss it to Breda. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. He's got the first down here inside the 30 and all the way down to the 25-yard line. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. They run with Breda. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. Going for it all. And that'll be incomplete. 
Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost, and that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there, 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal. And for the offense, 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Here now, a look at Melvin Gordon. Those are his numbers through roughly the first half of the season, and given that, you'd have to think he's on pace for a 1,000-yard campaign. Steady as he goes, steady goes the offense, but you know what else is happening, too, because they are a team now recognized with the ability to run the football. You've got to be able to throw it better now, right? Better throwing lanes, better opportunities for the guys downfield, maybe more one-on-one -on -one coverage, which you should be able to beat easier. Yeah, he's, st he's establishing not just a tone, but an identity for his team. And that's a discussion we had a couple days ago in the team meetings, talking about this running game, opening up the passing game. We'll see if that continues to happen. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Third down, they'll throw with stick. And that is incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense. First and ten. On first down, Garoppolo. And he whips that one incomplete there. He was looking for Matt Breida out of the backfield. That'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. On third down, a run from Breida. He's got a first down and more past the 30. And all the way up to the 35-yard line. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit, too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. There's Garoppolo to throw. Catch is made by Hurd. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Six here yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Garoppolo looks to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And a big play there on second down, but we do have a flag on the field. This is in the area where it might be coming back. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpire's got different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That's three sacks now, and this team came into the game in the bottom five in the league in sacks. Yeah, this What's is going not, on? It's not been their bread and butter. I don't know, is a blind squirrel finding a nut, or is it something they can build on? Well, they found some momentum. They found a crack in that offensive line, and they're putting it to good use. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. 
So we've reached halftime in a low-scoring affair, just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, Brandon, good work in that first half. More from you guys in a minute. But first, let's get to some scores right here on the day before Halloween. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been as tight as we expected, all tied through one half of play. For the call of the second half, let's get it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Here's Stick on first and ten. Complete. It's Henry. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Another tote for Gordon. He's been busy this afternoon. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Holding offense. can see this quite a bit on running plays with the guys out wide. A lot of times, though, it doesn't get caught. You're exactly right, because it's away from the play usually, so a lot of it goes undetected. But I know this will surprise you. I coach some receivers in the offseason. We work a lot on hand placement and blocking downfield. Might want to take that course. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Watch the Watch the twist. They'll keep it on the ground. This time, it's Gordon. Some extra space following the display of power down just inside the 45. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Throwing on second and three. Stick, and this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. And that'll bring up second down. On second down, it's Gordon. And he stopped immediately there. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. Myers' kick is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals. It's 6-3. to three. Well, They don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. On second and nine, Garoppolo, and that is incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for. Third down here. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Man open, it's Goodwin. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. He gets us away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. So here are the Chargers to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Here we go, D, get off the field. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop him. He can't get him down. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39, and they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. A gain of three, second down. From the 35 on second down. Stick, complete, Hunter Henry with a grab. Only three yards on the catch, it's third down. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Stick looks to throw, and it's complete, Henry. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. This quarterback now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. 
Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. With that last carry, he's now over 8,000 career rushing yards. All right, big applause. Lots of clapping for this one, right? Think about it this way. Along the way, he has passed Hall of Famer Terrell Davis, and now he's starting to approach another Hall of Famer in Larry Zonka. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Myers connects on the PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Let's go. Let's go. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They're in a 13-3 hole here now as they come up on first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. The completion good for three, and it's second down. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. They'll break the huddle and come out with four receivers, three of them to the right side, second and seven. Garoppolo now. And this one's incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw is Garoppolo. That's complete to a speedy wideout Goodwin. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this, when he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. That throw good for four, it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. Now a give coming right is Breida. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Joey Bosa in on the stop. Looking to throw on second down. Garoppolo. And he rifles one incomplete. He was trying to get it to George Kittle. It's tight end. And it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now it's Breda. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Now Garoppolo. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Garoppolo now on third and goal. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up. And that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. 
So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Let's go, baby. The Charger drive about to get going. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. From the 27, stick and caught by Henry. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Give him 15 go. yards on that one and a Charger first down. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. First and ten, stick. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathe. And that's caught at the 25. Touchdown, L.A. Mike Williams, his third touchdown now on the year. For the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. Well, this offense only mustered three points in the first half on that field goal. They picked up the pace now, two third-quarter touchdowns. Hey, you remember that appearance we had last week in front of that crowd, and, and they asked yeah. about halftime adjustments and all that that was going on. And remember what I said, it's not always an adjustment at halftime. Sometimes just remembering the game plan and playing better, tuning it up and just working through it methodically, they got it done in this case. Of course, I'll always remember that appearance because I had on a brown belt with black shoes and you pointed that out in front of the crowd. So thanks for that. I said that out loud? You did. Ah, my bad. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Matt Breed in the offense heading back out. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him? Maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down, but to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Desmond King there on the coverage. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And after a rough start, as we take a peek at the numbers, he's going in the right direction now. So often when you see a game start the way we saw this one start for him, you just wonder if he's got a chance to bring it back at all. And that's exactly what he's done. Love seeing that happen simply because you know a guy has struggled and now he's found a way to make things better. That's pretty good stuff right there. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. This is Gordon as they go to him again. Give him a yard on the run there and that's going to set up a third down and two. Stick back to pass. 
He can run for it, and he will. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough go. for a first down. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Gordon. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll throw on second down his stick. Out to his left. He'll try and run it. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Let's go. Now they run from the gun with Gordon, and he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. That's complete. It's Gordon. Pushing the foul. Nothing to pass or defense. Well, they're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. They get this to Smith on the jet sweep. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. Well, that play looks familiar because we saw them working on it in practice this week. And for a lineman trying to block on this play, they love when they get the defense moving in one direction. And when they try and change directions, it's a lot easier to pick them up and ward them off. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. This is Gordon. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. There we go. Melvin Gordon. His third touchdown now on the year. For the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. And we know they won't get their names in the stat sheet, but the offensive line has to get all the credit for that touchdown run. Tremendous job of blocking, paving the way for the six points. Now Myers for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Garoppolo, he's going to give this to Breed on the draw. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. 
Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it. With this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Here's a quick throw caught by Allen. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. On second down now. It's Gordon, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. They'll keep it on the ground. Gordon, and all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it'll be second and goal. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Sliding out of the pocket. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And a very good return as he'll take it all the way up to the 40-yard line. In today's NFL, most teams don't have as many goals for the game like we used to have where you checked off your boxes. But zero turnovers, that, that's a universal. And while it won't likely cost them in this game, they're going to regret the fact that they cough one up here. Yeah, their first blemish. They had mistake-free football prior. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The f Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jerry Tillery, and the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Here's Adams. Tackle that time by Jarquiski Tart. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Throwing on second and eight. Stick. He completes it to Henry. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Henry. 
Third down, they'll throw with Stick. And right side, Henry's got it. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. That'll back them up two yards and also bring up fourth. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? We play to win. Let's go! The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Garoppolo. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Garoppolo looks to throw. He'll dump this down to Matt Breida. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him six on the play, and they're going to have a third down. Completes it to Samuel. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the 49ers make some inroads here on that deficit. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Now Garoppolo and the Niners will come up and go for two. Watch a slant, watch a slant, watch a slant. They'll try and run it up the middle. And he will dive into the end zone and the two-point conversion is successful. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Gordon. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. They'll keep it on the ground. Gordon. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. And let's check on the call. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Gordon. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. On third down, they go with Adams. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout 
as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. And he will find his man on the outside. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Check down to Breida. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Then he'll find his target, Woods. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for our visitors, they fall a game under 500 now at three up and four down. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for San Francisco, they drop back to 500 now at four up and four down. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against San Francisco.